And I think also thinking about the voices that not, are not around your boardroom table or your meeting table. Again, that's partly in your customers, but it's also partly those in your community that what would they be thinking about the decisions that you're making today? And I think that also leads to future generations. We know from all the science, and that science and the voice of science has got even louder about the changing climate, about the depletion of natural resources, that no matter what we do today, we're going to see changes that are already locked into the system. That tells me that things, particularly around climate shocks and climate impacts, are going to get worse before they get better. But the more we factor in those future risks, the more we factor in lowering our missions, preparing for those climate shots, how do we need to build differently so that when we have the next heat wave, we're ready for that, that we're using less water. Um, if, if water is a key resource for the way we operate, but also think about the natural environment and how much that can give us both in terms of protecting us from climate change, but also for that peace of mind as, as individuals. I know that if I'm having a tough day, one of the best things for me to go and do is get out there, have a walk, hopefully as near to nature as possible, and it can just put things into perspective. And we need to understand as leaders the importance of the natural environment and how depleted it is and therefore, what can we do in our work to make sure that we're regenerating, restoring nature 